Hi everyone! So if you're curious about what the best sunscreen out there and which one works for your skin type and what SPF even means and what's worth it, what's not, uh, well, I keep on watching. I hope that you're actually re-watching this because it's beautiful outside. So we just received a shipment of Elta MD sunblock today. So I thought that would be perfect timing to talk about sunscreen. Which sunscreen is best for you? Which one's worth your money? Um, the best ingredient and all that. We have a bunch of sunblock here at Sparkle. So before I jumped in into the brand and which one's better for you and all that, I just want to take the time to really explain why sunblock or sun protection is essential. So 80% of the aging process is caused by the sun, seriously, 80%. So it's even more, it's worse than genetic. And as much as I believe in good skincare, good diet and all that, if you're not protecting your skin against the sun, you're going to have damage. Yes, we need the sun, we need, you need to go outside, vitamin D, it's really, really good for you, but it's the, like, it's the burning and like a lot of exposure. So, I mean, if you go, in the sun for like a couple minutes here and there, it's fine, you're gonna get your vitamin D, but it's longer than that 15 minutes, super important to protect your skin. Because there's free radical, like skin cell mutation, cancer, burn, fine line, hyperpigmentation, sunspot, melasma, everything is caused by, you know, that that's overexposed of the sun. So really, really important to protect your, your skin against the sun the right way. Um, and there's a lot of sun, sunscreen, sunblock out there. And what's the main difference? It's really like the coverage of those, um, those ingredients. So my favorite ingredient when it comes to skincare is zinc oxide. Zinc oxide offer like a hundred percent coverage. So it's a physical, so you have like a, the zinc oxide will sit at the surface of your skin and um, stop 100% of the UVA and UVBs to go even like in your on your in your skin versus like a chemical sunscreen that you will it your skin will still absorb the UVA and your UV um, UVA UVB but you will not um, burn from it okay but there's still an absorption so that's why I prefer that physical sunblock 100% uh, and I mean when you see like um, the, the, the FPS that you get from the government, um, that doesn't mean much, right? Because that only tells you that you're not going to burn for two hours, which is great, but it doesn't protect uh, against everything, like those hyperpigmentation, sunspot, wrinkle. So that's why it's super important to have like a physical sunblock. And um, the phys physical sunblock, like the zinc oxide, um, it's known to kind of give that white shield on your skin so that's why people don't really like it if it's a low quality of it sometimes the pebble it's almost like round pebbles so your skin doesn't breathe well so that's why they have like a bad reputation and that's why I think you should invest like in like a like a medical grade um, sunscreen because the the way the zinc oxide have been milled it's more like flat so it let your skin uh, breathe through so you're not going to break out or anything like that. That's why like, it's really important to maybe invest. A good physical sunscreen can act like as a, a primer before your makeup. So actually will seal everything. And now you can even have like tinted one that pretty much act like a foundation. So it can be great. Uh, also same thing for like titanium dioxide. That's where that flashback that you would get like if you take pictures. Uh, same principle, um, the quality of the mail really matters. So yeah, so you can get like a, a good sunscreen at a drugstore. It's just like if you have like a sensitive skin, uh, you may break out. So that's why I think you should invest in a good quality one. So um, there's tons out there of sunscreen. So which one is good for who? So you need to think first about your skin type. So I'm acne prone, like <laughs> anything will make me break out. So I need to be really mindful. For me, the quality really does matter, but I need to look at the ingredients. So if you're acne prone like me, um, and I have hyperpigmentation when I have like acne scarring or melasma, 
So um, super important to have something that doesn't have dimeticone in it. That's an ingredient that for me um, will make me break out. And some some here, I can, actually I can't even myself. It just it doesn't make dimeticone is just not good for me if you're sensitive to silicone in general. Um, so that's why for me the the brand Vivier actually works really really well because they don't have dimeticone in it. Uh, it's a zinc oxide at a 10% that perfect blockage, it breathes really well. Um, yeah, I just like um, the Sheer 45 for maybe my more acne prone skin. It's really, really good. Uh, it's not tinted though. Then if you're more sensitive um, skin type, that's where I really like the Elta MD1. Um, and you can have it tinted. So if you open it, uh, it have that tint. I don't know if you can see it. I'm sorry, my leg, I don't really see. So there's a tint into it. So it's really great uh, for summers. Um, so that's a really great one. Sensitive skin, they have Dimeticone in it, but for more sensitive skin, Dimeticone is actually good. It's it's so soft. It's a nice ingredient for more sensitive skin. Uh, so that's why I like this one. If you're looking for more like, like almost like a makeup coverage and you're looking for like a um, almost like a skincare in your sunscreen. Love the Skin Medica one. Uh, more coverage, like I'm gonna show it to you. This one here, have actually if I put it on my hand, uh, it really, it's almost like a foundation. You'll, it, uh, it offers like a coverage. Uh, so that's, that's a good option. Really good, feels good. It's almost like skincare and it's a sun protection. So really like the Skin uh, Medica. Um, and if you're looking, if you have like super dry skin, like for me it would not work because I'm I'm more like on acne, oily, that doesn't work. But Osmosis skincare have the, um, the Protect. That's really, really good if you have like a dry skin. So it's really nourishing and hydrating. Um, so that's why, that's for people I would recommend um, the Osmosis Protect. Elta MD, so this is their body version, the Sport, and um, that's the waterproof, um, waterproof version. So for kids and everything, uh, you can use that one. That would be designed more for the body. The spray version, that's why I wanted to talk about this spray. Um, I'm not a big fan of the spray, um, spray sunscreen because I don't think it's good to breed. And most spray, if you read the ingredient, have. Um, Kind of controversial ingredient so i'm not a big fan i will usually use this spray for kids maybe when you're at the beach the, the feet part um but try to stay away from like the spray in your face and body and usually it doesn't even stick to your skin really really well and um, so yeah not a big fan of that so those are kind of the skincare i would recommend depending on your skin type and i get tons of questions about that like uh, because I think you should wash your face, put your serum, finish with your moisturizer, and everybody needs a sun protection. So you put your sun, your sun protection, then you put your makeup on top of it. And if you are outside, you should be reapplying your um, your sun protection every two hours. If you have makeup, it's like, oh, I don't want to destroy my makeup. And that's where I love Osmosis. They came, well, it's been around for a long time, but their press powder, okay? It's a finished powder or there's some coverage in it. Like usually I just, uh, I just use the powder. I'm not a big fan of uh, foundation because I break out quite easily. So you just take the little brush and you kind of reapply your, uh, your press, I'm not sure it's my right color though. So my, maybe it's going to look weird. Uh, yeah. You just reapply your powder as you go in your day and it just kind of any kind of, if you're oily a little bit, it's just going to take care of everything. So a great product just to kind of move on your day. And it, this product have 25% zinc oxide in it. So you would be covered 100% against the UVA and UVB. So I definitely recommend this press powder from Osmosis. Um, and they do have the transparent one. Um, but if you're not looking for any kind of coverage, you just want sun protection, but you don't want to reapply your sunscreen as you go, um, I would recommend something um, like Proderm. It's, um, it's, a loose, it's a loose mineral powder. So you just shake it a little bit and then you just dust your face with the, 
the powder, the concealer powder is a mess, it just kind of goes in your face. You dust it off, so you can just kind of reapply that with your day. So really, and um, they also, oops, sorry, my, my chair. Um, Color Science also uh, have a version of this. So I'm, I like the Proderm one, but yeah, so that's all the option. But yeah, so sunscreen is really, really important. Um, just be mindful of your skin type. That's what kind of kind of dictate which one you should get. Uh, but yeah, like invest in a good su sunscreen. I mean, 80% of your aging come from the sun. So super, super important. So yeah, that's why I wanted to jump in today. And um, if you have any question, uh, comment below, reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to answer all your questions. There are so many options available out there. So have a good day. Bye-bye.